participate and to partake of the endless of love. We feel shared with us your broken body and you shed blood for us. In order for us to receive that forgiveness of all of us, our sins. Today, dear Lord, here at this church, we would like to talk about the privileges and equipment which you provided for us to survive in the times like this. We appreciate so much for the Bible, for the uh, opportunity to pray, for religious freedom, for, for special options to have baptism freely in the ocean and to enjoy the fellowship together and give glory to you for the art of communion. For the Lord, we came here from the very far. Bless all of us here in the presence of your Holy Spirit. May your name be glorified through music, through Bible studies, and worship you for all hearts. In the name of Jesus. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sat in him, they went up to the Mount of Olives.
Christmas, we thank you once again for your gift of love and forgiveness. May this love burn within our hearts that we too may learn to love each other and treat each other as you have you would have treated them. Today, Lord, I am privileged to witness Brother Eric obviously show his love for you, Lord. May you continue to bless him as he walk this journey with you. The road may not always be easy, but Lord, you have one thing is certain, you have promised that you are with us all the way, even to the end of the world. Today I pray for all those who may not, who are not able to make it to church. They may be sick and discouraged and for whatever reason, Lord, May this bring healing to them and bring uh, encouragement to them. Uh, I pray for all those brothers and sisters around the world, especially in Nigeria and India. They were targeted by so-called rebels because of their faith in the Lord. So I pray for them, give them courage to stand for the truth, Lord, and protect them. Today, as we in partake of the communion service, may you prepare our hearts and minds, Lord, and may we be blessed by your message. And now I pray for the forgiveness of our sins and we thank you for all the things that you have done for us and doing for us in Jesus name I pray Amen
our Father in heaven. Our hearts are joyful today because we know, O oh Father, that you love us so much. You gave your Son to die for us, to die for our sin. And now, O oh Father, we give our gifts to you. Have each one of us as we give children. And gradually, I ask you, Lord, if you will to touch anyone's heart, or I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Possession make you rich? 
I don't have that type of riches. My richness is life forever. John 3.16 says, and let's say it all together, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Who's happy for the gift of Jesus? So let's remember when we give, to use God as our example, to give willfully, willingly, and
Today is a special day. We would like to bring Eric of Mando, Brother Eric of Mando, please come to the front of the We would like for you to receive special gifts here. And we also have certificate for you. And we also have pictures on the screen today, what we really enjoyed this morning. To be together in the presence of the Lord in open nature. Yes, brother. Thank you for coming to your brother. Bless you. I would like for all of you to accept brother and into the membership of the Kahaluri Church. Do we have a motion? Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? <laughs> the whole church is To the Lord. Yes. Now we have a special baptismal certificate. Yes. God is your blessing, Brother Eric. We have a lady for you from the Holy Church. Yes. And we have teachers on the screen over here. As we see, it was a special moment when we pronounce the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the special act of baptism for Brother Eric. Yes. yes, we also had a chance to enjoy your family. We were singing songs and praising God. It was beautiful. It was very special. And we understand what we are living in the time when the Satan is really trying to teach us and tempt us. But praise be to God what He is revealing us the truth in the great controversy. And keep us the book great controversy for you. And morning devotional every day. Please read it for God's glory. May God bless you, God. Uh, so Big thank you to Brother and Elder Church, who is actually did a huge part in this act of baptism as well. Because he called me on the church from the Hilo Church. Now he's in Philippines. Called me, he said, Ask Brother Kelly to do Bible studies, find him. And I was searching for him. He already came to the church himself and asking me for the Bible study. He said, Oh, how nice, praise be to the Lord. And we started to do Bible studies like two times a week, one time a week, depends on the uh, on availability. And we studied a lot from Genesis to Revelation. But according to the Bible, it says, when you will baptize individual, it says in the Bible quite clear in Matthew 28, Go therefore and teach them to observe all things what I have commanded you. And as we started to part of the found out that after baptism, we will continue to do studies for His Word. May God make you bless We are really enjoying the privilege which the Lord is giving us all to praise Him in times like this, when we have religious freedom and opportunity to study the Word of God and praise Him for all the blessings. Um, as you may all know, but recently the world has experienced a life threatening pandemic term COVID-19. More than 80 million people were infected with hundreds of thousands of deaths. And this is what we went through 2020. And this is why actually I wanted for us to have the title for today, The Power of Music 
As we will study the Matthew chapter 26 through 26 verse 30. And look at what was happening now when we are looking back. Because people are still dying, but some in recovery. We were praising God for this privilege. I would like to start with one more prayer. Merciful Heavenly Father, I'm praising you for Brother Eric Alfonso. He made a decision to follow you completely. I'm praising you, dear Lord, here for your church members and for the guests here in our church. We are all gathered together under your roof here, dear Lord, in the house of prayer with the desire to worship you, to give you honor, and to have a personal, intimate relationship with you for the act of the communion. Bless us today as we will discover your gifts in the gift of Bible study, the gift of prayer, and the gift of music and many other gifts that you are providing for us under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Guide us today as we will open your Bible. In the name of Jesus. Amen. During this time, one of the greatest needs of medical professionals was personal protective equipment, or PPE. PPE stands for protective clothing, gloves, face covering, face shields, goggles, face masks, and other personal equipment designed to protect medical professionals from exposure to the infection. But during the crisis, there was shortage of PPE in some areas, so many healthcare workers contacted COVID-19. And they contracted the COVID-19 and they were extremely busy serving others while they were not immune from the actual virus. And they needed PPE to survive, although they got contraction with the COVID-19. But the Bible is telling us that another deadly virus is, is, is existing here in this world. Pandemic is a virus that is even more fatal than coronavirus. Since virus has infected the entire human family, and we are in the front lines of that battle. Each one of us, during the since pandemic, we need our PPE. If our, in our business, we neglecting our personal protective equipment, we are likely to be infected with the virus of sin. And in our frantic rush through life, we do not take time, we do not take time to take care of our spiritual part of our nature. And we can easily contract a fatal virus in spiritual disease. Apostle Paul, he's writing for us on the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. And I would like for us to read it together from the screen. Because he is saying, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Let's do it together. For oh, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And one more verse, verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole ark of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. What is the protective equipment given to us by God in this conflict between good and evil? Any suggestions? What do you think? What God is really giving to us as a protective equipment? For sure, one of the ideas of Samuel is history showing me the Bible. For sure, for the Word of God, it says in the Bible, is alive and powerful. No doubt we have the Word of God in our hands. It's a sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between the soul and the spirit, between joints and marrow. It's exposed our innermost thoughts and desires. Yes? This is what we have in our hands. Although, what is the other protective uh, equipment given to us by God? Maybe could it be prayer? Yes, Bible and prayer. And what else? Let me discover with you as we will read the Bible. Because we can find out something interesting here this morning. It says in 2 Kings, 
What Elisha said, as surely as the Lord Almighty lives, whom I serve, if I did not have respect for the presence of the Jehoshaphat king of Judah, I will not pay any attention to you. But now, bring me a harpist. While the harpist was playing, the hand of the Lord came on Elisha, and he said, This is what the Lord says. You see, why did Elisha call a musician? What's happening here? If we look back into the text, we will find out that the prophet Elisha, he was called into a messy situation. And he was quite aggravated. I should say even he was irritated. He was saying, what is happening over here? But he called musician. He said the music helped to see all the outside actual destructions and unable and enable actually Elisha to be brought up into the frame of the right mind and spirit where he could receive message from the Lord since music is also a protective tool in the hands of God. Depends how we use it. It depends what kind of music we are listening to. Because we are a great author here. Isn't it? But as we talking about the Bible, we're talking about prayers, we also need to talk about the news. And I was appalled to see how much texts and verses we have about the whole Bible, about the music in the Bible. And this is why I call this sermon the power of music, which God is using for us as a special tool. Because we see what's happening here. We see what the war is going on in the surrounding nations. After consulting people, the king of Jehoshaphat appointed singers to walk. And actually, to walk and, and sing. And this is what it says over here. While they were praising God and praising the Lord and His splendor, this is what we are reading from the Bible, Second Chronicles. Give thanks to the Lord. This is what they say. Give thanks to the Lord for His, yeah, His faithful God what? endures forever. And they were singing this over and over according to the text in the Bible. At the very moment, as they were singing, they began to sing and give praise. The Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab, Mansir to start fighting among themselves. Music has the power to influence. Music has the power from the Lord if we are using it in the right way. Music actually is also protective equipment given to us by God Himself. We see King Saul was tormented by the evil spirit. And people assume that all spirits are controlled by God. And this is what it says in the text according to your Samuel. Whenever the evil spirit sent by God came on Saul, David will get him a harp and play. The evil spirit will leave and Saul will feel better and be all right again. We see quite clearly what music is influencing, has the power, and making quite an impact here. Because at the sound of harmonious spiritual music, devil they up. If the devil has been hanging around in your house or in your home, maybe we should just simply check what kind of music or what kind of atmosphere we are setting forth there for the right spirit to come. Yesterday, many people around the world celebrated Christmas. We know where Jesus was not born exactly on December 25th, although we know where Jesus came into the world to save you and me, to save Brother Eric today as he got baptized and in his name. And we appreciate so much the concert, and the special concert we experience, especially in a time of December. And uh, my sister, actually, who is visiting, she's visiting us today with her family, and we are so privileged. But they took their COVID test, and they were clear, they were okay, they have a green corridor in the airport to get into to the Maui here. And actually, they did this concert on Walla Walla Village Church. And people all over the world participated in online concert. People from Udova, people from Latvia.
Syria and from Allah Sibir and from Russia and from England and other places were here in this conference. And it's a privilege when we even had to the time of storm and trouble, the Lord allowed for the act of music to enjoy Christmas and give Him glory for God is alive today and merciful. Yes. And actually, the president of the Hawaii conference shared Christmas greeting with us as we were reading last time here at the church because it's a special time of the year. And we know what Jesus, he came to this fallen world with all of its deadly sickness as a little baby born in a cave in a little town of Bethlehem. And he grew up in Nazareth as a divine physician. And actually, while he entered the arena of the human affairs with the antibodies, as we studied last week, with antibodies to deliver us from the violence of sin, Dr. Luke actually makes quite a point here. He says, suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared in the angel, singing praises to God, glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth. This is what actually is writing to us. And peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. This is how Jesus actually he came into the fallen world with the powerful, angelic choir music. This is how Jesus entered into this world. Yes, as a little baby, although the angels sang an amazing choir to proclaim amazing glory to the earth and give us peace. We are all looking forward to the next year as we will share praises from Kahaluli Choir. Because I already talked to our conductor, Twinkle, and she said, next year, next year. And we are praying for this. We are looking forward to give glory and praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. Remember what Martin Luther said. He said in the book, Here I Stand, music is a fair and lovely gift of God, which has often made me and moved me to the joy of preaching. Music gives away the devil and makes people what? Happy. Hey. Next after theology, I give to music the highest place and the greatest honor. Music as a medicine for the mind has been used by people all around the world. And it's quite a major field even today. And musical therapy is used for the mentally ill and for the health in general. And actually Plato, Aristotle, and other Greek philosophers, they actually agree what to the sick, to be sick, it means to be out of tune and harmony according to the Greeks. But music could get balance. Music can get balance and back into the state of harmony. There are a lot of physicians and priests follow their steps and use music for the therapy. By the 17th century, harpsichord, or it's been developed into the actual grand piano nowadays, but it used to be harpsichord. They found some inscriptions on that instrument. What music, the medicine of man's mind. Music, the medicine of man's mind. This is not a new idea when we see the power of music and how music can influence us. So the next time you sit in a dentist chair or in a hospital, simply pay attention if you hear pleasant, calming music being played. It's for the reason, because music can work as a mild anesthetic. And it all starts simply in your mind. This is how the Lord created us. You see, Paul suggests for us, when he's saying, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, he said, instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with what? Psalms. With songs, with hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from where? From your heart to the Lord. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you see what's happening? What we are actually talking about?
touching the service here in the Bible, but music has the power to give life meaning. And so one of the worst judgment God can in, in, implicit or inflict on people is to deprive them of music. We remember the story when the Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. Remember what's, hap what's happening over there? The priests were actually were, uh, marching around the city seven times, blowing the trumpets of ram's horns. It was uh, the signal of the long blast from these trumpets. And the people were to shout, and when they did that, the walls came tumbling down. This is what the kids love to see. Yes, we have all seen with the high-pitched voice that breaks the glass. But here it was a display of the actual trumpets. A voice is breaking down, not just the glass, but the whole entire block, huge block walls came tumbling down. What about Gideon with the 300 of his men? They conquered Midianites. He did so with 300 trumpets. All of his men blew their trumpets and broke the joints and threw the enemy into the stage of panic. And they began fighting with each other, defeating themselves. And we know there is a power in missiles. Until now, we understand how the countries are fighting with each other. But we so often forget about the power of music. How music can influence people and deviate us from the true power. You see, music, it's a protective, special equipment, special instrument in our hands, which the Lord gave to us. And we need to enjoy it. Because it says in the Bible, in Psalm 150, but praise Him with trumpets. Praise Him with harps and lyres. The trumpet can help win the war or help us to praise the name of God. Music has the power to give life meaning. And so one of the worst judgments that God can execute on the people at the last days is to deprive them from music. Listen to what the Bible says. It's going to be the punishment on the city of Babylon for this great wickedness. And it says in Revelation 18, the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence the great city Babylon shall be thrown down and shall not be found there anymore. And listen to this. The sound of harpists, musicians, flutists, and trumpeters shall not be heard in good. We see there will be no music for Father and Father. But there will be music forever and ever in heaven. As only we will be there, it says we are going to sing the sound of Moses. We are going to enjoy the crystal sea. We are going to sing and praise the name of Jesus. Because music is a gift for all of us. It's a tool in our hands. It's a special equipment which the Lord is providing, especially in the days of when people are going through depression, suffering, struggling. And this is what Sister Wright is writing. Our God is mighty. I saw, she said, singing to the glory of God, often of the enemy, and praising God would beat him back and give us what? The victory. The victory. The Bible is filled with the stories of music. Bible is precious. Since music is protective equipment given to us by God, we need to remember the stories which are written for us. And it says about Paul the Apostle. And about midnight, it says in the Bible, and Silas, Paul and Silas were praying and singing what? They were singing hymns because they memorized them from their childhood. They know what to sing now in the time of trouble. If you think he will take your hymns with you in the time when you will be in the caves, it will be too late. You need to memorize them now. And this is what Paul is doing. He is praising God and singing. And the other prisoners were doing what? They were listening. They were listening. And suddenly there was such a violent earthquake. The foundations of the prison were shaking. At once the prison doors were flew open. And everyone's chains came loose. This is what actually music does. We see what praying and singing hymns. 
to God brought them actual deliverance. Psalm 32 is speaking of signs of deliverance. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from the trouble and surround me with the sounds of deliverance. Memorize this verse. Practice your songs. Try to practice what we have in the Bible. Book of Psalms. We have Psalms of Solomon. We have so many beautiful Psalms in our hymnals. And as we approach right now, the last night of our Jesus. Jesus with his disciples did the food washing service. Thank you for those who already did the food washing service today. After this sermon, you will have an opportunity to participate in the community service as well as we will help each other. But Jesus took the bread, he says, and he broke it. And gave it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat, this is what? My body. Then he took the cup and gave it things. He gave it to them saying, Drink from it. All of you. For this is my body, this is my blood, and new covenant, which is shed for many for the remissions of your sins. This is what Jesus pronounced actually for all of us to do this special act. But I say to you, he is saying, but I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit, the wine, from now on, until the day when I drink new with you in my Father's kingdom. And quite a line over here we see. And when they had sent him, and as they had sent him, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Only Jesus knew what he is going to face. He knew he was going to die at night. Disciples, they were seeing some help knowing what they were going to see. But Jesus wanted to lead them through this experience with the music. And Jesus was seeing some of them as they went into Mount Olives. Because music is a protective tool and equipment which God gave it to you and me. May God richly bless you as we will all participate and I would like to invite right now deacons and elders to come to the front as we will continue our service with the special communion of the Lord Jesus as we will do a special ministry and conference of love. So we will participate now on the table of love. I would like to see deacons and elders here come to the front line. And I would like to see deaconesses, they will come and help me to uncover the table.
would like right now for us to kneel down as we will pray for the bread and wine and as we will partake of the emblems of love.
Jesus
Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. For oh, I have received from the Lord all the apostles says. But I also pass it unto you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in the remembrance. In the light, in the light, 